Good morning, depending on when you get this, AP seniors. Um, the good news is next week's the AP test. Yay. All right. Um, if you didn't catch uh, the Zoom meeting, um, there was a problem with the meeting and it didn't all record. There were some glitches. Um, so you'll need to make sure you look through that handout uh, that went out with the meeting invitation. I will post it again this week with this week's material. Um, starting what hopefully will be today, March 4th, when you watch this, um, or May 4th, because we're in March 4th. Wow, quarantine is fun. All right, anyway, May 4th, um, Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you and all that fun stuff, is also the day that you can start signing up, practice signing up for the AP test. All right, don't forget to go and do that. Sign into myap.org, um, use your password, make sure it all works. If you're having problems, let me know or let Ms. Bot know. Um, but you can sign on and you can practice submitting a practice practice test so that you are not on the day of the exam um, losing focus and messing things up. And again, look through that paper. It will explain a lot about what's going on the day of the test. Um, there are many issues that may pop up that mean that you are going to have to take the test again in June. All right, if for some reason uh, you can't take the one on May 11th, you're not gonna be there, something's wrong, you're working, um, make sure that you just let them know within 48 hours that you need to retake the test. Um, if you, you are not able to take May 4th test at all, you know you're not going to be there. Ignore the test. You will automatically be sent a new uh, invitation again in June, so you can take care of that then. Um, for this week, uh, we are going to be playing a little light um, because I know you're going to be studying for the test on your own and for other AP tests possibly. All right. So you already got your assignments for Jane Eyre uh, for this Sunday. I believe you were supposed to read through chapters one through 12 of that thrilling novel. Um, I'm giving you only, however, questions for chapters one through 10. Um, so Merry Christmas. All right. In May. All right. Um, but make sure you answer those in their entirety. That is an assignment, but it also will help you in your study of the novel. Um, again, in addition to that, this week, you're going to read the short story, The Yellow Wallpaper, by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Um, there are several questions on that that are all designed around the questions they would be asking on the prose question for the exam. So this is a short story and review all packaged into one. I know you're excited. Um, make sure you do that. There's also a question at the end that requires you to reflect back on Jane Eyre. So make sure you have at least 10 chapters read um, before you answer that question at the bottom of the Yellow Wallpaper assignment. The Yellow Wallpaper is a really cool short story. I'd like to do a reading of it um, for uh, the class. Uh, we have a Zoom meeting. I'm looking at Tuesday uh, for a Zoom meeting for all the classes together. Um, hopefully this time the recording will work perfectly and I'll get it posted. Um, maybe my computer, it may be be me. I'm perfect with technology. It must be the computer. All right, so we'll get that fixed this week, though. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. Uh, your prompt of the day. Um, we're going to have prompt of the days this week. Uh, there's a wonderful poem by Rudyard Kipling this week, and then we're probably just going to have one more week of these. That should round off three more, and then we're going to cut that short because, as you all probably know by now, instruction is scheduled to end on May 22nd. Well, you still have two days until Sunday, the 24th, to turn things in. Um, but that is the last week we're supposed to give instruction. So that means we only have three weeks of school to go. I'll pause for your, for your tears. Okay, anyway, um, so uh, we're going to be doing a short story this week, and you've got those Jane Eyre questions. Um, if you feel like you want more, I can give you more short stories. So let me know if you're clamoring out there and going, no, Mr. Shirt, if we want more work, please, we're bored. Um, I've got two or three other short stories we can go over. Um, if not, next week, um, we're going to play a little light because you're taking AP tests. We will be doing, however, though, in that week, um, the importance of being earnest, the play. Um, you can find that online. Um, however, you're, there's certain different versions. Some versions have four acts. We're just going to read the shorter version, um, which is the complete version. There's just other ones that have more information and additional extras and scenes and deleted footage and bloopers. Um, but we don't want you to worry about those things. All right, so we'll be reading that play by Oscar Wilde next week, and uh, maybe a short story, uh, a really short story, we'll see. And then the last week, um, I may be offering up some options for things to do, so be aware of that. 
Again, catch me on Tuesday for a Zoom meeting over the short story. Um, and at the same time, uh, maybe a discussion of Jane Eyre and a review for AP. All right.